Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and if you're returning thank you so much so thank you guys for joining me for today's adventure which takes us to universal studios japan yay i finally made it so we got there a little after 8 probably closer to 8 30 and it was so crowded so many people I am suggesting to you guys if you plan to go to Universal Studios in Japan, do not go during Golden Week. It was fun, don't get me wrong. But I think that it's less crowded. Like um, if you go on a, another weekend or some other day, even if it's on a weekend, but not Golden Week when everyone's off work. It was a lot of people. So the first thing we did was a Jujutsu Kaisen, a 4D experience thing. It was fun. I don't watch Jujutsu Kaisen, so it wasn't like, ooh, spectacular. But it was good because like, <laughs> it was like spraying water, making the whole 4D thing a lot more real and stuff. Um, yeah, that was the first one. And we weren't allowed to record, that's why I don't have a lot of footage. Most of the rides here were a lot more extreme than Disney, so we weren't allowed to bring our bags on our, and our phones on most of the rides. The next ride we went to was Hollywood Dream and they kept like playing over and over. Oh, you can't go with a headband, you can't wear a wig, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm on the ride and they took everything from us before we went on. Ah, oh, It was a crazy, crazy ride, Hollywood Dream. That was the second ride. Uh, oh God, it dropped, it dropped, it dropped. The drops on this ride were pretty intense. You know it had to be food time soon because we were left out pretty early. We didn't have any breakfast, we had coffee. So we got some burgers because that was the only place that I think we could have gotten through like soon enough. We didn't have to wait like very, very, very long, but it was crowded. Next up was my favorite ride for the entire day and it was a flying dinosaur and I enjoyed it so much. We were suspended upside down and can you hear these people scream? This was my least favorite ride for the entire day, mainly because when I came off, I was drenched. Even my underwear was soaked. It was that bad. I was like so annoyed because it was my fault though. If I had read and realized that I was gonna get wet, probably wouldn't have gone and it wasn't worth it. It was cool and nice, but it's a good thing we only waited five minutes because we decided to do single rider. We waited like about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> of course it wouldn't be a theme park without a million gift shops right after you leave each ride but i didn't get anything in here because it was all dinosaur theme and i didn't want that so i went outside and i got my little memorabilia <laughs> Mm. 
Next up was the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And of course, it was very packed. But I was more interested in the ride than um, like holding a magic wand and deciding if it chose me. So I just went straight for the ride. Also kind of wanted to try the butterbeer, but the lines were crazy. On this little baby ride they said no phones we had to leave our backpacks i'm like crazy crazy because when we went to disney we went on splash mountain thunder mountain everywhere with our cell phone so i didn't expect this so this is why i don't have a lot of footage it's only like 10 minutes long <laughs> and 40 ride and they said no phone again so no footage it was fun it was chaotic it was minion and it was my third favorite ride it was so fun next up was the spider-man 4d experience and there was a lot of water and fire involved i was feeling hot i was feeling cold i'm like do they want to give me a flu it was fun it was fun So we went back over the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and then we went on another ride and it was so fun. It was like you were flying with Harry Potter and when we finished, we came out and we realized no one was in the line. So we did it again. So at this point, it was about 940 in the night and we were about to like leave. But we stopped at Wonderland, which is a kiddie's land. And we went on this little Snoopy ride, which is for kids. And that was the last thing we did um, before stopping at a few gift shops and then leaving. So we spent a total of 14 hours. If it wasn't 14 hours, it was like a few minutes shorter because we got there about 8.30. A little before 8.30, we left there. The gift shop's about 10.30. And we had fun we went on a total of nine rides we did the uh flying dinosaur twice which was my favorite and the harry potter twice which was my second favorite minion was the third uh it was a very 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 fun day the only regret was not getting to go to super nintendo world it's mario world and that's the only regret and that's i want to go back because of that not just because of that i really enjoyed usg i want to go back sometime when it's not very crowdy and um do all of those fun rides again i think like if you come to japan and you're going to be in osaka area you should definitely check out usj uh, let me know what you think about going to usj in the comments down below and i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching bye